Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Muhammad Shweb. Welcome back. In this tutorial, we will learn about how we can activate out of service function with logic or external switch using the OOLI using this input parameter of the motor. This OOLI stands for out of service via logical interconnection. So what is this uh, motor function block? The OSLI stands for the out of service via logical interconnection. It is a feature bit parameter in the PCS7 block that allows an external signal from interconnection or high level logic to switch the block into the out of service mode. Normally, out of service can be operate in the OS. Normal in the normal cases, from here you can configure. Uh, you can activate the out of service. But with OSLI, it can be forced automatically from the any other block or the logical condition. So with this uh, input uh, motor block input parameter, we can externally or through any of the logic, uh, we can put the whole motor in the out of service mode. So actually why we need it? Sometime the equipment should not be able to operate due to process conditions, safety or maintenance interlock. Instead, instead of depending only on the operator actions, the system can automatically put the device out of service when it's required. So let's understand some of the examples. Uh, for example, like uh, our maintenance team is working uh, on the site and now they want one of the pump in the out of service mode so they have uh, uh, we have already the out of service switch in the field if they will put it in the out of service mode then through input channel we receive signal here and this signal will become activated so there's one uh, more different type of example like we have a level transmitter and we want to put the safety interlocks. Once the dry run, dry run level is came, like the level is going low, low level, and we want to turn off the motor due to safety purpose. We can also use that high, le uh, high level of the language logic like that we can also. So let's see how we can use the feature bit and we can ap apply this out of service functionality from the field switch or the any of the logic. So to enable this functionality, we have to come here in the feature bit and we have to enable this bit O uh, out of service via logical interface can switch to out of service. So this bit we have to enable it and click OK. So I will close it. Now uh, we have here two of the function block. Like I will put it in the manual mode. This. So now this both both of my motor, the motor one and motor two, both in the manual mode. Okay. And now I implement, I configure this feature bit only in the my motor one. But for the motor two. I did not enable any of the feature bit. So if right now I will enable the uh, this out of service bit for both of the block. So let's see the result. If I will enable this input, this can be turned on here from the anywhere from the either through any of the logic or through any of the field. Uh, uh, field input. 
So I activate for this input for the I pump one and for pump two also I will same input I will activate it. Okay. Now if we'll come here, we can see in the both of pump we can see the in progress uh, symbol icon. But what is the difference between this both of the block? The our from one now it's in the out of service mode automatically. Previously we put in the manual mode. Now it automatically uh, be because uh, we enable that uh, motor block input. So now it shift out of service mode. But here it's not shift uh, in the out of service mode. So now operator can uh, here he can understand uh, it is not available. It's, this pump is not available due to, to interconnection logic or the from field. Okay, so if you want to enable this uh, feature like uh, from the field, you want to turn on the out of service mode. So we have to use this feature bit. So uh, out of service uh, logical interconnection uh, bit ensure the safety and the process integrity by automatically reacting block operation when externally condition uh, demanded. So Alhamdulillah, we we'll learn in this tutorial video how we can configure out of service through our logic or through any of the input switch while our maintenance team is working in the field. Thanks for watching this video.